Hi guys, my name is Claudio and I am a professional motion designer. In today After Effects tutorial, you are going to learn how to export MP4 files, MP4 movies from After Effects. There are essentially two, three ways to export MP4 from After Effects. I'm going to teach you how to do this. So let's get immediately to the first uh, way to export MP4. Uh, so let's open After Effects and let's import uh, a file so i'm just we need something to export on before so let me drag let me drag an mp4 and an old mp4 file i have uh, from from my library and let's create a new composition by dragging the file over this icon here so now we have our composition and let's say this is the, your your movie so how do we export to mp4 it's very easy so there are you can do the same thing from two different positions uh, here if you click uh, on the menu on composition you have either add to adobe media encoder queue or add to render queue you have the two same uh, options once, once you click on file export uh, and here you have add to media encoder queue or add to render queue so let's uh, use add to render queue as first possibility and you see that here on the bottom the render queue is going to uh, open to show you the content so here we have uh, this rendering request that we have what you gotta do is to select uh, the correct output module so either you select here uh, the output module and you take the one with h.264 which is the format for mp4 or you click here on the name here and you select format and in the list that you just get the ones you want which is 8.264 click ok <clears throat> and then you need to select the output you see that the status now is needs output so you're gonna select the folder for the output you can select whatever you like for me it's okay this folder and you click on save and then you're gonna click on render once you do that you see that um, after effects is gonna go to all the frames and render the file the problem with that is that it's taking a lot of resources from after effects so uh, you are not able to use After Effects while it is running a rendering operation. So here comes the second alternative. So let me stop this one as we don't need to go till the end. So the second way to uh, create an MP4, to export an MP4 uh, file from After Effects is by using the Adobe Media Encoder. Uh, so how do you do that? So if you go back to your composition here and then you click on Composition and Add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. Once you click on it, normally you should you will need to wait uh, I know, a lot of time because uh, Adobe Media Encoder takes a lot of time to, to open, so don't get uh, frustrated if it doesn't open immediately. I had already opened it before, so that is why it's already here. And you can see that uh, it took quite some seconds also if it was already open to come to appear here on the queue. So this is the request that we just uh, added from After Effects and here as well uh, you just need to select uh, the correct H.264 format for the output to create the mp4 for as preset you can use match source high bitrate but you can also choose different uh, presets there are presets for YouTube as well there are many many other presets that you can use depends on uh, the, the, the goal you want to obtain and then uh, the output file will be here and so once um, this is configured, you can just play Start Queue here and uh, Adobe Media Encoder will start rendering the file. It's going to take some minutes as well, but the good thing is that you see that here you have a preview of the current frame which is rendering. The good thing is that you can continue working in After Effects, uh, do whatever you like uh, uh, and yeah, just doing your things. You don't need to wait for the rendering. In Adobe Media Encoder, what is nice is that you can also create watch folders, which you just copy the files that you want to render. And uh, Adobe Media Encoder is just waiting for something to appear in that, those folders. And if it's running, it will automatically render the uh, file in the format that you, that you want. For instance, here I had already configured this uh, folder here. And I say, whatever comes to this folder, you're going to render it to MP4 with match source high bitrate presets and put the output in this folder here. 
is very powerful. Uh, it's worth uh, uh, studying uh, all the possibilities of uh, this uh, if you want to, to uh, exploit it to, the, to, to all its capabilities. You can use this also from Adobe Premiere Pro and other products, or you can just use it to convert uh, in different uh, uh, your movies in different formats. Uh, so this is all about uh, Adobe Media Encoder for now. So there is a third possibility to render uh, MP4, uh, to export MP4 files from After Effects, uh, which is more advanced and which uses the, the console. So you will see if you go to this uh, page on the adobe.com website, I'm going to put the link in the description below. <coughs> you can use uh, this uh, file, which is called aerender.exe, which is uh, located for Windows uh, in this uh, folder here. If you have Mac, it's in this folder here. And you will be able to call uh, the rendering via console. So we just uh, write a script uh, calling AE render. You're going to pass the parameters. Uh, so this uh, project parameter, you pass just the name of the After Effects projects, and then you can add a different, you specify the format. Uh, you can also here on this page, you have the list of parameters that you can use. You see that you have the, the start frame and end frame. For instance, if you want to export only from frame 10 to frame 20. so. And that's it. You can, uh, it's very powerful and uh, it allows you, you don't need to have uh, After Effects open, you don't need to have uh, Adobe Media Encoder open. It will just uh, use uh, this uh, window on the console to, to render everything. So this is a method that is used mainly in studios uh, and uh, in um, companies because it allows you to have uh, a, a pipeline for, for rendering uh, projects which are already um, ready for, for production. So that's it. But mainly you will go to use uh, the first two options, which are Adobe Media Encoder or just a render queue inside After Effects. The main thing you have to remember is to use the H.264 format. So that's it. I hope uh, you learned something new today. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorial like this. Thank you and see you soon.